Hello everybody. May the Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus name. Today our topic is stay positive towards yourself. Stay positive towards yourself. The most important relationship you have is the relationship with yourself. Too many people don't like who they are. They focus on their faults and weaknesses. They relieve their mistakes and failures. They wish they were different. If they were taller, had a better personality, look like their cousin instead of accepting themselves as a masterpiece made in the image of God. They are critical towards themselves. They wonder why they are not happy and why they don't have good relationships. It is because they don't like themselves. If you don't get along with you whom you are you're not getting go along with other people in the book of mark chapter 12 verse 31 jesus said love your neighbor as you love yourself you can't love others if you don't first love yourself the best thing you can do for your family for your friends is be good to you be kind to you be merciful to you be forgiving to you be loving to you you are good to others why aren't you good to, to yourself? You don't criticize your friend. Why are you criticizing yourself? You compliment your co-worker. When, the last, when is the last time you, are, you complimented yourself? You admire their talent. Why don't you admire your own talent? Start being good to yourself. That's not being selfish. That's not arrogant. That's loving yourself. But too many people go through life feeling wrong on the inside with this nagging feeling. I heard someone say, I've discovered the enemy. It was me. Are you your enemy? Are you defeating yourself, limiting your dream, sabotaging your relationships, or because you don't like whom you are? You have enough people and circumstances against you. Don't be against yourself. When you wake up in the morning, don't lie in bed and think of everything wrong with you what you don't like about your looks relieve your mistakes okay don't just be deciding and be talking anyhow putting yourself in trouble you have made that mistake already you will not die what you need is to ask god for forgiveness and god will forgive you because we serve a good god you may have weaknesses you have made mistake we all have but there is a lot of more right with you than this wrong you are thinking about yourself all the time dwelling on the negative doesn't help you to do better beating yourself up for past mistakes doesn't move you forward the better you feel about yourself the better you will do the more you like yourself the further you will go you can't give away what you don't have. If you're in turmoil or the inside, mad at yourself, critical, condemned, that's what you have to give. If you're hard on yourself, you'll be hard on others. If you don't forgive yourself, you won't forgive others. If you don't get along with yourself, how can you get along with your family? The best thing you can do is start being for you. When you love yourself, then you can love others. When you're kind to yourself, then you can be kind to others. It all starts with you. Okay? Don't say, oh, madam, I have been doing this. No. Change your attitude towards yourself. You are not supposed to beat yourself up because you haven't arrived yet. I don't know one person that has arrived there will always be some area you need to improve. In fact, I believe God will leave weakness on purpose, so we will have to depend on Him. He is changing you from glory to glory. Learn to enjoy the glory that you are in right now. You may not be where you want to be, but you are not where you used to be. Instead of looking at how far you have to go, you need to look back and thank God for how far he has already brought you. It takes a mature person to say, I'm okay with where I am. While I'm on the way, 
to where God is taking me. One time someone asked me what was the one thing I would change about myself <laughs> if I could. And I don't mean this to sound arrogant, but I couldn't think of anything. And yes, there are plenty of areas I need to change. I need to grow. I need to improve. My point is, my weaknesses are not on the forefront of my mind. I'm not focused on my shortcomings, relieving my failures, thinking about how I don't measure up down on myself for past mistakes. I know I, I'm forgiven, I'm redeemed, I'm a matter of peace, made in the image of Almighty God. Life is too short to go through it against yourself. I say this with humility, but I like myself. I like my looks. I like my gifts. I like my personality. I like my sense of humor, like my test. Okay? I like who God made me to be. It's very powerful when you can say you like yourself, not I like myself after I lose 20 pounds, after I learn to keep my mouth closed, after I become more patient. God accepts and approves you where you are, fault and all, mistakes and shortcomings, not when you overcome, but right now, He knows you are on a journey. He's changing you little by little. He accepts you. Now you have to accept yourself. He approves you. You have to approve yourself. God knows you more than you know yourself. Okay? So when it, whatever you're doing, do not let negative take up the most space in your life. Relieve your victories. Dwell on what is right about you and not what is wrong about you. You can't become who you were created to be when you are negative towards yourself. Yes, there are forces trying to stop us. But I wonder if you are your own enemy. Circumstances may be against you. People will come against you. You can overcome those things. The problem is if you are against yourself, if you are negative towards yourself, that will keep you from your destiny. God has given us different gifts, different personalities, different temperaments. Sometimes we are fighting who we are trying to be like someone else. You have to accept who God has made you to be. And sure, there are areas we can improve in, in and where we can grow, but there are certain things that are who we are. Okay? So you don't have to kill yourself because of anything. Just be whom God has destined you to be. Be yourself. We can always grow and improve, yes? But you can't fight who God made you to be. Don't go your whole life wishing you were something different. Wishing you had a better personality. Wishing you were more talented. Wishing you were like your neighbor. When in fact, you are exactly who you are supposed to be. What you don't realize is half the time your neighbor is wishing they could be you. They see all the good things about you. Do you know? Do you know that? What will happen if you will start loving yourself? Accepting your gift. Not beating yourself up for mistakes. Not down on your yourself because of your weakness stay positive towards yourself most of us wouldn't criticize other people you wouldn't go up to your neighbors today your friend sitting next to and say wow you you sure don't look good those clothes don't do anything for you you may think that you wouldn't say it why are you criticizing yourself when you criticize yourself, you are criticizing God's creation. You might not as well look up and say, God, you didn't do a very good job of me. He didn't make mistakes. Don't say that to yourself. Please, don't say negativity in yourself. Negative words are not good for you, child of God. Be happy wherever you are. Always pray to God to help you. Ask God to have mercy on your life. We think because it's not us. It's okay. It's not hurting anyone else. It's not okay. It's hurting you. 
when you wake up in the morning look in the mirror instead of saying oh man oh woman oh this i'm getting so old <laughs> look at all these wrinkles it's all down here from here please don't say that okay just say i'm made in the image of god i'm a masterpiece of royal blood flowing through my veins stay positive towards yourself may the almighty god bless you guide you and protect you all the days of your life in jesus mighty name amen